This may seem revolutionary, but I think it's time we did a video that pertains to you specifically. Not some generic version of you as a YouTube viewer or a Facebook user or any of the other things that are possible on social media. I think it's time we talked about you. As a pilot, you have every reason to be proud of yourself. That's quite an achievement. Whether you're a sport pilot, a private pilot, grab an instrument rating, add a commercial, go all the way up to ATP. If you're a CFI, if you're a working pilot, or if you're a recreational pilot who just kind of likes being a weekend warrior, flying out for a $100 hamburger. All of them are something you should be proud of. And of course, we take great solace in knowing that our pilot certificate is good for life. Once a pilot, always a pilot. Bonus! The problem is, your medical is not. And that's something we overlook. When I was a young guy in flight school, just like everybody else, I was bulletproof. I didn't have to think about it. I was young and strong. I still had hair. It was a whole different world for me. Now, 30 some odd years later, the hair's gone. I weigh a lot more than I did back then. And I have to actually think about staying healthy enough to be able to get in and out of the airplane and to pass my medical. Now, unlike when I started flying, there are a number of ways to be medically qualified to fly now. That wasn't always the case. And Pat and I will do another video later this week that gets more deeply into basic med and sport pilot and the various options, including a couple that don't require a medical at all. But even then, you have a responsibility, as we all do, to make sure we're healthy before we fly. Let's face it, our passengers get in beside us or in front of us or behind us because they believe we know what we're doing. They believe we're going to keep them safe and it really is our responsibility to do that. So, you might think about a health program while you're going to be a pilot. Now, the irony is Tom Cruise and people like him make flying look very sexy and exciting. And it can be. And I'm taking nothing away from Tom Cruise, who actually is a pilot, or John Travolta, or Morgan Freeman, or so many people, including you. Being a pilot is a remarkable thing. But being a pilot is also a sedentary job by nature. We sit. We sit in the airplane, we sit in the FBO, we sit at our desk at home planning out our flight. There's a whole lot of doing nothing but thinking when you're a pilot. That's not a great lifestyle. We also have a tendency to eat out of vending machines or eat high fat, high salt foods at $100 hamburger restaurants. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as we do something to counter it the rest of the time. So let me make a suggestion from one old man to a whole bunch of people, including you, who really deserve to be in this as long as you want to be. Take a walk, ride a bike, go swimming, play hockey, do something physical on a regular basis. Don't just do it twice a month. Get into the habit when you're relatively young and healthy because you're not as bulletproof as you think you are. None of us is. Being as cool as we are being pilots, we're actually not that much different in a physiological sense than any other human being walking the planet. That being the case, it's in our own best interest to take the time, figure out some type of an exercise and diet program that we can get onto and fit into our lifestyle forever. Now, when I say diet, I don't mean you should go run into the Atkins aisle at the supermarket or you should go um, carnivore or keto or whatever is going on today. You find something that works for you that doesn't involve a pint of ice cream every night after dinner or a slice of pie every time you sit down to eat. Eat reasonably, get some exercise, take care of yourself, get some rest. And yeah, we do tend to be type A personalities who push ourselves a bit, but find a way to grab a nap. There's probably a room at the FBO for you to do that in if you're a general aviation pilot. And yeah, you can go take a nap there. They're used to it. Charter pilots do it all the time. Find a way to put yourself ahead of all the other noise amongst your flight reviews and your flight instructor refresher courses and your check rides at the airline and all the other things you have to do to remain current from an aeronautical standpoint. Take the time to make sure you stay current from a medical standpoint. Because I'll tell you, staying healthy is a whole lot easier than trying to get healthy 
after you've gone too far the other way. I wish you all the best. And there are plenty of exercise books. There are plenty of diet books. There are plenty of other pilots you can talk to. Look for the guys and girls who look fit and ask them how they do it. Try to stay away from people who look like their main diet is pizza and cheeseburgers. They may have advice, but it might not be the best advice you've ever heard. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I do take this seriously. I myself have lost 20 pounds over the last year. I exercise on a regular basis, three times a week. It does make a difference. I hope you'll do the same thing. So get out there, fly that aircraft, enjoy your life, and be fit enough to enjoy it for longer and longer than maybe anybody thought you could. Click like on this video if you liked it. Go ahead and share it on social media. Pat and I really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you would because that makes this channel so much more attractive to others. And most of all, have some fun out there because flying is an enormous amount of fun. So go do it.